Hello, how are you all? I hope you are fine by the grace of God Almighty. Thank you for watching Nergia Cartoons. Today's topic is very important, and in this episode, we will show you a brief interview in which the interviewer will ask questions and discuss which actions of ours cause us to block our blessings. There are many people who do not know this and unknowingly do things that shut the door to their blessings. When problems start arising in their lives, they become worried and start saying that they used to have many blessings before, but now the blessings in their lives are decreasing. You will understand very deeply which reasons cause us to shut the door to our blessings with our own hands and then face difficulties later. I hope you will like my work. I have worked very hard on it for two to three days and have made it for you so that you can learn some lessons from it. Now let's start this video and watch together see what happened in this. Mr. Richard, thank you very much for giving us your time. Our audience has requested many times that we do an interview on this topic. We want to ask you to explain the reasons that cause us to close the door to our blessings. Your interview should be in depth and brief so that people can understand. Yes, of course. Thank you for inviting me. I will thoroughly answer all your questions so that people's understanding can increase and they can grasp which mistakes cause them to shut the door to their own blessings. Mr. Richard my first question is how can our actions affect the blessings we receive from God? Our actions can significantly impact our ability to receive God's blessings. For instance, obedience to God's commandments often results in blessings, as seen in Deuteronomy 28, 1-2, which says, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all His commands I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. What specific mistake can shut out our blessings? One major mistake is harboring unforgiveness. Colossians 3.13 Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. What are some practical steps we can take to avoid this mistake and keep the door open to God's blessings? Practically, we can start by praying for the strength to forgive and asking God to help us release any bitterness. Luke 6.37 Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven It's also helpful to remember that forgiveness is not about condoning wrong behavior, but about freeing ourselves from the burden of unforgiveness. Can you share a personal experience or a biblical story that illustrates the impact of forgiveness on receiving blessings? Certainly. One powerful example from the Bible is the story of Joseph. Despite being betrayed by his brothers, Joseph forgave them. In Genesis 50, 20, he says, You intended to harm me. But God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Because of his forgiveness, Joseph was abundantly blessed and became a source of blessing to others. That's a profound example. Are there other common mistakes that can shut out our blessings? Yes, another common mistake is pride. James 4, 6 says, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Pride can create a barrier between us and God, preventing us from receiving his blessings. How can pride block our blessings? Pride leads us to rely on our own abilities rather than seeking God's guidance and help. This self-reliance can distance us from God, as seen in Proverbs 16:18. pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Humility, on the other hand, opens us up to God's grace and blessings. What steps can we take to overcome pride? Overcoming pride involves acknowledging our dependence on God and recognizing that all good things come from Him. James 4.10 advises, Humble yourselves before the Lord, and He will lift you up. Regular prayer, self-reflection, and serving others can help cultivate humility. Can you give an example from the Bible where pride led to a loss of blessings? A notable example is King Nebuchadnezzar. His pride led to his downfall as described in Daniel 4.30-32. He boasted about his achievements, and God humbled him by taking away his kingdom temporarily. Only when he acknowledged God's sovereignty was he restored and blessed. That's a powerful lesson. Are there any other attitudes or behaviors that can shut out blessings? Yes, disobedience to God's commandments can also shut out blessings. Deuteronomy 28, 15 warns, however, if you do not obey the Lord your God and do not carefully follow all his commands and decrees I am giving you today, all these curses will come on you and overtake you. How does disobedience affect our relationship with God? Disobedience signifies a lack of trust and respect for God's authority. 
it distances us from him and his plans for our lives. Isaiah 59, 2 explains, But your iniquities have separated you from your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. What can we do to ensure we live in obedience to God? We can start by studying God's word regularly to understand his commandments. Psalm 119, 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Prayer and seeking the guidance of the Holy Spirit are also essential in living an obedient life. Can you share an example of how obedience leads to blessings? A great example is Abraham. His obedience to God's call to leave his homeland and later to sacrifice his son Isaac resulted in God blessing him abundantly. Genesis 22:17 records God's promise to Abraham, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Are there other mistakes related to our faith that can block blessings? Yes, lacking faith can hinder our blessings. Hebrews 11, 6 states, And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. How does a lack of faith affect our ability to receive blessings? A lack of faith limits our ability to trust in God's promises and His power to work in our lives. James 1, 6-7 warns, but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. What can we do to strengthen our faith? Strengthening faith involves immersing ourselves in God's Word, as faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the Word about Christ, Romans 10:17. Prayer, fellowship with other believers, and remembering God's past faithfulness can also help build our faith. Can you give an example of strong faith leading to blessings? One inspiring example is the faith of the centurion in Matthew 8, 5-13. He believed that Jesus could heal his servant with just the word. Jesus praised his faith, saying, Truly I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. His servant was healed at that moment, demonstrating how strong faith brings blessings. How does gratitude impact our relationship with God and receiving blessings? Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have, helping us appreciate God's provision. It fosters a positive relationship with God and others. Philippians 4, 6-7 encourages us to present our requests to God with thanksgiving, resulting in His peace guarding our hearts and minds. What practical ways can we cultivate gratitude in our lives? Practically, we can start by keeping a gratitude journal, regularly noting down things we are thankful for. Expressing thanks to God in prayer and sharing our gratitude with others can also reinforce this attitude. Are there any other spiritual disciplines that help us remain open to God's blessings? Yes, regular prayer is crucial. Philippians 4, 6-7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Are there any specific types of prayers that can help us remain open to God's blessings? Yes intercessor or prayers, where we pray for others, can be very powerful. James 5.16 states, The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Also, prayers of confession and repentance help us to stay aligned with God's will. How does repentance play a role in maintaining the flow of blessings? Repentance is crucial because it involves turning away from sin and turning back to God. Acts 3.19 says, Repent, then, and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. It restores our relationship with God and opens us up to His blessings. Can you explain how idolatry can shut out our blessings? Idolatry, or putting anything before God, can definitely shut out our blessings. Exodus 20, 3 commands, You shall have no other gods before me. When we prioritize anything above God, we disrupt our relationship with Him, closing the door to His blessings. How can we identify and avoid idolatry in our lives? We can identify idolatry by examining what occupies our thoughts, time, and resources. Anything that takes precedence over our relationship with God can be an idol. Regular self-examination and prioritizing our relationship with God through prayer and scripture study can help avoid idolatry. Are there specific biblical examples of idolatry leading to a loss of blessings? Yes. The story of the Israelites and the golden calf in Exodus 32 is a prime example. Their idolatry led to severe consequences, including the loss of God's immediate blessings and presence. 
What is the role of faithfulness in receiving blessings? Faithfulness, or steadfast loyalty to God, is critical. Proverbs 28, 20 says, A faithful person will be richly blessed, but one eager to get rich will not go unpunished. Faithfulness ensures that we remain aligned with God's will and open to His blessings. Can you provide an example of faithfulness leading to blessings in the Bible? Absolutely. Ruth's faithfulness to Naomi and to God led to her being blessed with a new husband, Boaz, and becoming the great-grandmother of King David, as described in the book of Ruth. How does greed affect our blessings? Greed can shut out our blessings, because it shifts our focus from God to material possessions. Luke 12 15 warns, watch out. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. Greed can lead us away from God's will and cause us to miss His true blessings. What steps can we take to overcome greed? Overcoming greed involves cultivating contentment and generosity. Hebrews 13, 5 advises, Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Practicing gratitude and giving can also help combat greed. Can you share a story from the Bible that illustrates the consequences of greed? Yes, the story of Ananias and Sapphira in Acts 5 is a stark example. Their greed and dishonesty led to their deaths, demonstrating the severe consequences of allowing greed to take root in our lives. How does a lack of gratitude affect our blessings? A lack of gratitude can blind us to the blessings we already have and hinder us from receiving more. Romans 1.21 highlights this, saying, For although they knew God, they neither glorified Him as God nor gave thanks to Him, but their thinking became futile and their foolish hearts were darkened. How can we cultivate a spirit of gratitude? We can cultivate gratitude by regularly reflecting on God's goodness and expressing thanks in our prayers. Philippians 4. 6-7 encourages us to present our requests to God with thanksgiving, which brings peace and aligns us with His blessings. Are there any biblical stories that emphasize the importance of gratitude? Yes, the story of the ten lepers in Luke 17 11-19 is a powerful example. Only one returned to thank Jesus for healing him, and Jesus noted his gratitude, which brought additional blessings of spiritual wholeness. How does obedience to God's commandments influence our blessings? Obedience is directly linked to receiving God's blessings. Deuteronomy 28, 1-2 promises blessings for obedience, if you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all His commands I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. Can you share an example of obedience leading to blessings? Abraham's obedience to God's call to leave his homeland and his willingness to sacrifice Isaac resulted in abundant blessings, as recorded in Genesis 22:17. How can a lack of prayer shut out our blessings? A lack of prayer can shut out our blessings, because it signifies a disconnect from God. James 4, 2-3 says, You do not have because you do not ask God. When you ask, you do not receive, because you ask with wrong motives. Prayer aligns us with God's will and opens us to His blessings. What types of prayers are particularly effective in aligning us with God's blessings? Prayers of intercession, confession and thanksgiving are particularly effective. Philippians 4, 6 encourages us to present our requests to God with thanksgiving, which brings peace and opens us to His blessings. Can you share a story from the Bible that illustrates the power of prayer in receiving blessings? The story of Hannah in 1 Samuel 1 is a great example. She prayed earnestly for a child, and God blessed her with Samuel, who became a significant figure in Israel's history. How does humility affect our ability to receive blessings? Humility positions us to receive God's grace and blessings. James 4, 6 says, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. When we are humble, we acknowledge our dependence on God, which opens us up to His blessings. Can you provide a biblical example of humility leading to blessings? King David is a great example. Despite his many achievements, he remained humble before God. In 2 Samuel 7:18. David expresses his humility and gratitude, and God blesses him with a lasting dynasty. How does generosity impact our blessings? Generosity is a key to unlocking blessings. Proverbs 11:25 says, A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. When we give generously, we reflect God's nature and open ourselves to His blessings. Can you share a story from the Bible where generosity led to blessings? 
The story of the widow at Zarephath in 1 Kings 17, 7-16 is a wonderful example. Despite her dire situation, she generously provided for Elijah, and God blessed her with a miraculous supply of food. How does living a life of integrity influence our blessings? Living with integrity aligns us with God's righteousness, which brings blessings. Proverbs 10, 9 says, Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out. Integrity builds trust and opens us to God's favor. Can you provide an example from the Bible of integrity leading to blessings? Daniel is a prime example. Despite facing immense pressure, he maintained his integrity and was blessed with wisdom, favor, and high positions in the kingdom, as described in the book of Daniel. How does trust in God influence our blessings? Trust in God is fundamental to receiving his blessings. Proverbs 3, 5-6 advises, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Trusting God ensures that we are aligned with his plans for our lives. How does seeking God's kingdom first impact our blessings? Seeking God's kingdom first aligns us with his priorities and opens us to his blessings. Matthew 6.33 says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Prioritizing God's kingdom ensures that our needs are met. Can you provide a biblical example of someone seeking God's kingdom first and receiving blessings? Solomon is a great example. In 1 Kings 3, 5-14, Solomon asked for wisdom to govern God's people rather than wealth or long life. God was pleased and blessed him with wisdom, wealth, and honor. How does living a life of righteousness influence our blessings? Living righteously aligns us with God's will and opens us to his blessings. Psalm 512 says, Surely, Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. Righteous living ensures that we are in a position to receive God's favor. Can you share an example from the Bible where righteousness led to blessings? Noah is a prime example. His righteousness in a corrupt world led to God saving him and his family from the flood and blessing him with a covenant, as described in Genesis 6-9. How does envy affect our blessings? Envy can block our blessings by causing dissatisfaction and resentment. James 3:16 says, For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. Envy shifts our focus from God's blessings to what others have, creating a barrier to receiving more. What steps can we take to overcome envy? To overcome envy, we can practice contentment and gratitude, and focus on our unique blessings. Galatians 5.26 advises, Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. Prayer and reflecting on God's goodness can help shift our perspective. How does living a life of service impact our blessings? Serving others reflects God's love and opens us to his blessings. Matthew 20 26-28 teaches, Whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. Service aligns us with God's purposes. Can you share a biblical story where service led to blessings? The story of the Good Samaritan in Luke 10 37 illustrates this. The Samaritan's act of service not only blessed the injured man, but also exemplified God's command to love our neighbors, which brings blessings. How does gossiping or speaking negatively about others affect our blessings? Gossip and negative speech can shut out blessings by damaging relationships and dishonoring God. Proverbs 21:23 says, Those who guard their mouths and their tongues keep themselves from calamity. Our words have power, and using them negatively can hinder God's blessings. What practical steps can we take to avoid gossiping? We can avoid gossip by being mindful of our words and choosing to speak life and encouragement instead. If a science 429 advises, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs. How does being judgmental affect our blessings? Being judgmental can shut out blessings by creating a self-righteous attitude that distances us from God. Matthew 7, 1-2 warns, do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. Judgmental attitudes can block God's grace and mercy. What steps can we take to avoid being judgmental? To avoid being judgmental, we should focus on our own growth and extend grace to others. Romans 14:13 advises, Therefore let us stop passing judgment on one another. Instead, 
make up your mind not to put any stumbling block or obstacle in the way of a brother or sister. Can you provide a biblical example where a judgmental attitude led to consequences? The Pharisees' judgmental attitude towards Jesus and others in the Gospels often led to them missing out on the blessings and truths he was offering, as seen throughout Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. How does living a life of purity impact our blessings? Purity aligns us with God's holiness and opens us to his blessings. Matthew 5, 8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Purity ensures that we are vessels ready to receive and reflect God's blessings. How does honoring our parents influence our blessings? Honoring our parents is a commandment with a promise. If a science 6, 2-3 says, Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with the promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy a long life on the earth. Honoring our parents brings God's blessings of well-being and longevity. Can you provide a biblical example of honoring parents leading to blessings? The Rechabites and Jeremiah 35 were blessed for honoring their forefather John Adab's instructions, demonstrating the blessings that come from honoring our parents. Mr. Richard thank you very much for giving us your time today. We have learned a lot from your answer. Thank you very much for inviting me to this interview. I hope that my answers have provided a valuable opportunity for many people to learn and understand important insights. I hope you like my work. Thanks for watching Nagia Cartoons. May God bless you all. Amen. See you tomorrow with a new topic. Take care everyone. Bye.